everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a rare plant haul. Now, literally, this is weird, okay? So I have one skin dapsis. I have, I don't know how many Syngonium in here, a few, and I don't think I've hauled them before. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really sure. But we have one, two, three, four, five Syngonium in here, basically, and one skin dapsus. One of the Syngoniums, I haven't actually bought it in, but it's grown in my unit and I'm really happy with the progress on it. And I have more than one. It's not super rare or anything, but I kind of just wanted to update you on it because I'm quite proud of it. And it's certainly looking a lot better than the last time I showed you it. So one update, one skin dapsus, and what was it, four Syngonium? I can't even count. One, two, three, four, yes. I might start with the Skindapsis because it's mega cool, you know, it's mega cool. Or should I end with it? Right, we're gonna just pick it out. So I'm gonna start with the update, actually. I'm lying to you. I'm gonna start with the update. Let me just pick this out. Now, they've come from my shop, so they're in really muddy sort of pots. So please just bear with me, okay? So, uh, what is this called? I think this next plant I'm gonna show you is the Syngonium... Is it Three Kings or Magic Marble? Now, I originally showed you one and I would love to find you the footage, but... I don't even know where that footage is. It was so long I showed it to you. And they're probably tiny, but I've had them for a long time. I've got a few of these. I might only have about eight or something like that. So I'm just really happy with how they've grown. Anyway, there's, there's not a lot to say. I just wanted to update you. So again, the pot is a bit scatty, but you know me, all in the spirit of transparency. I haven't even groomed any of these plants today, by the way. And there are some, there's some gnarlies on them. I mean, one's got yellow leaf hanging off, but anyway. So apart from the fact that this is quite wild on the bottom. I just wanted to show you really how awesome this has turned out. Sorry, the leckers might be quite noisy here. Can you see this? Again, this is something that a lot of you just might not give a shit about, and I totally feel you, I totally get it, but I want to let you know that these are actually quite cool, and I think I like them anyway, but I like them even more now. Can you see that there as well? So I'm trying to hide my face. It's not, it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, there, you get really weird patches on them. And it does seem to be extremely chaotic, but I actually thought they had reverted and I thought they were mainly green, but they're not, they've only got better. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of these and they can get way brighter than this. Admittedly, this doesn't look very bright, but I have had these in very bright light, to be honest. So it doesn't exactly make much sense to me, but I just wanted to show you how they're doing. Again, not a haul, but it's so new and so different looking compared to the original plant I showed you last year that it may as well be a haul. It may as well be a brand new plant, to be honest with you. Plus, I wanted to put this in because I'm showing you mainly Syngonium, so it kind of felt right. It was in my tray of Syngonium. I have a few trays of like random things in there. So there he is. He's very cute and I actually recommend them, you know. They're all right. I could propagate that. I don't really know what I want to do with that. I've got loads of crap on these leaves, honestly. As I say, it's come straight from the shop. I just brought it back. So there you go. I totally get that not everyone will care. And that is fine. But I wanted to give you that little update. What should we do next? I'm going to do this one because it's, it's a bit gnarly, actually. This one is a bit gnarly. It hasn't travelled the best. Sorry, I've got air bubbles in here. So if you hear loud noises, that's what it is. This next one, can I put it there without you seeing? Oh, I can. So I'm going to describe this one very quickly before I show it to you. This next one is, oh, it's lovely. It's just, it just needs a bit of TLC, I think. It needs a bit of a feed and it needs to darken down. It's clearly been grown in a lot of light and it could look a lot better. But you know what it is? When I brought in my Syngonium Pink Splash, it did this exact thing. The leaves looked very starved. Um, and I think once I give this one a bit of care, it will be fine. So the next plant I have to show you, and really the first plant in my haul today, is the, what is it called? It's the Syngonium Strawberry Milk, also known as something else. Salmon, pink salmon? Strawberry milk or pink salmon? I believe that's right. Sorry if it isn't. So there is a yellow leaf on this, and I'll show you the yellow leaf first. You can see the actual shape of the leaf there. I don't know if you can see where the pink was. Oh, you can, but will the camera show it? Yeah, you can sort of see where the pink was. Not that we really care, but yeah, you know me. I, I don't take these things off. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm just a bad YouTube person. I don't know. So what you can see here is quite light colored leaves. And I do think they are quite light and minty, but I just think this one isn't looking so great. So I'm going to try and tip it for you and show it to you. Oh my god, that's very difficult to do. Can you see that? So, unlike Pink Splash, the leaves are a lot more arrow-shaped than that. And, of course, they do have a pinkiness to them, but it's not 
Um, it's not as deep a pink. It's very much a baby pink. Now I saw these, I saw this on Facebook and someone posted a picture and honestly it looked way better than this. Um, and it just looked incredible and I had to have them. So I had to source these. I have two of these, I think. I don't actually have a lot of them at all. I think they're costing a, a bit of a, a bit of money at the minute. And I don't know if that's real or not. I don't know if that's justified. I'm not sure. I mean, I had a bit of trouble searching for it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if how justified the price is, to be honest. I have no clue. So let me know if you do know. But yeah, this is the newest leaf here. So that's a best representation, I think, of what it would look like. I'll show you that. There, there you go. It's very cute and it's very understated. As I say, if you like the pink splash and you just love anything pink, then obviously this is a good contender. As I say, it's just not as dark as the pink splash. It's kind of like, actually, now I'm thinking about it, it's a lot like a pink splash crossed with a milk confetti. Heck, maybe it is, who knows? It looks the same because the milk confetti is, well, it's it's minty kind of thing. It's very frosty looking and then it still has the pink on. This is very, very similar when you look at this. I don't know if the camera's throwing it. The camera, to be quite honest, it, at least in my footage here, it's making it look quite yellowy and it isn't because I'm noticing it's making my skin look very orange. And believe me, I'm actually very pale today, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just clashing with the blue. But yeah, it's making it look slightly yellowy, but it isn't. I might try and color correct that to, to make sure that it's, you know, showing you how it should be. But really nice plant. They're kind of just emerging at the minute. And by that, I don't mean, oh, it's a new great thing. I just mean people are starting to kind of pop up with them. So you may see them on Facebook. I mean, I'm saying that usually I have noticed after these hauls for whatever reason, if I have a certain plant in this haul, someone will immediately pop up selling it on Facebook. And I mean like immediately, like within an hour of this video airing, there will be something on Facebook. But yeah, just to let you know, they're clearly out there. If you look shortly after the posting of this video, you might find them more more so. Um, but yeah, that's what they are. It could look a little bit better than this. I'm acknowledging that. But it could definitely look a lot healthier and a lot brighter. So we'll see how it is in my care because this leaf has come out. I haven't had it in my care long enough for that to be kind of like a true representation of my care, if that makes sense. With the pink splash, it did take a few cycles to get good dark leaves again. It took me a little while actually. So I suspect a good feed, let them be, let them root, no problem at all. But as per, it's a Syngonium, great care reasonably easy. So I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that at all. It's not my favorite Syngonium in here. I thought it was going to be, but I think it just looks a little bit different to how I thought it would. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to, I'm probably going to update you on that one because I want to see how it grows. So next Syngonium, let me just reach into this box. There we go. Pull that out. You can't see it. Haha. -ha. Very nice. Oh, okay. So this one looks pathetic. This is actually the top cutting of the plant that I got in for myself after a long time of searching. Um, so there is more of it. So I, I wasn't duped into a, a tiny piece of it. There is more of it. It's just in bits. And the other bits look pretty horrific, to be honest. So this is going to be underwhelming, but who cares? This here, my next plant in my haul, is the Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. And honestly, it is. Now, <laughs> literally there's a tiny bit of white on this leaf here can you see that if i put that in front of my face there you go it's making all my plants look really warm today i will have to fix that but there is some there there is some white but honestly the most of it is actually on this leaf coming in can you see that wow that doesn't even look white what is going on with my lighting today let me see if i can just fiddle with my lights one second because i shouldn't look this orange at all it's not normal there, does this look better? Uh, it looks about the same to me. Let's have another look. Uh, mm, no, that looks a bit more white, doesn't it, actually? Uh, oh my God, did that just semi-fix it? Literally. Well, you know what? I think it looks the same, but you're just gonna have to trust me when I say that it's a red spot and it is. it does have white in it. How much white is yet to be decided, I think. I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that other than I think there should be enough. I think on the previous leaves that of you know the rest of the plant that I've chopped up does have more white on it. If it doesn't, gonna come out and say it, that would be very unfortunate. So we need to kind of see what happens with that. But I'll show you it up close and I won't linger on it because honestly there's not a lot to see here. But that is Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. I wish I had a nicer specimen to show you, but I do not, alas. Let's pop this back in here. Right, I've got two more Syngonium and then I've got a skin top sauce. So I'm gonna show you my favorite Syngonium, I think. 
Um, just because, oh, this, oh, I just love this. I shouldn't love this as much as I do, but I do. Give me one minute, because this is in quite a big pot, this one. Oh, you can semi-see it in the frame. So this next Syngonium, I think I found out about it whilst searching for Syngonium for the Rare Plant Index I did, which... Was it last year? Maybe? It was a long time ago. And I spent a while searching, but I didn't... I'm not going to sit here and say that I searched day and night or I trolled the internet. Um, most of my searches are usually quite opportunistic, unless it's something I'm desperate for, and then I will go out of my way to get something. So this was quite opportunistic, but I'm so happy with this, and this is honestly one of my favourites. Literally, it's probably my favourite here. I love it that much. The next plant I have to show you is the... Let me get this right. I think it's the Syngonium... Grey Ghost, also known as Green Spot. I think that's right. So I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully, I won't disrupt all the pawn. But basically, if I try and hold it next to my head, what it is, is it's quite frosty. It's got a really nice kind of... What do you even call that? It's a weird sort of frilly, sort of gnarly looking leaf to it. At least my specimen does anyway. And it has huge chunks of either silver or green. Let me see if I can put that up to the camera. And look and see if it is working. <laughs> Don't mind my Dark Lord nodes written on the pot there. See right there? Really, really weird. Can I show you a nicer one, I wonder? Not necessarily, because the way this thing's grown. As I say, it's quite it's quite um, substantial, should we say. There, can you see that one? It's frosted, and it's got some bits of green on. Will it focus that close up? Yes, yes it will. I love this plant, guys. Now, from what I can see... For a Syngonium, it grows very close together. A growth pattern I would liken this to, actually, is the Syngonium Strawberry Ice. You know, that really, really ugly one that no one likes. I know, I guess you might like it. No one likes it. Just no one likes it. It looks a lot like that to me, um, which is... It's possibly a con. I'm going to come out and say it's possibly a con, because when I've been growing Syngonium Strawberry Ice, they grow so slow, they root slow, they take a long time to propagate. They just, oh, it's work. It's work. It's not your typical Syngonium experience, I wouldn't say. I don't know whether that should put you off or not. I can't remember how long I've had this. I'd like to be able to tell you. It's a while, though. It's going to be at least, oh, God, it's got to be two months, surely. I can't remember if I had this late last year or not. It's possible I have, I think. Um, I think I had this late last year, so I love it. I am definitely in love with it, but considering that, I'm not really sure how quickly these things grow. It could do with a bit of a feed, to be honest, because these leaves are just not my leaves. These are the originals, but I just have to show you how awesome it is. And hopefully you can agree that it's pretty, it's pretty good. Where's this other one? I do like this one as well, this big chunky one. So that's basically your main characteristics of your leaf really there. They've got a really weird gnarly shape and they have really nice chunks of dark in with that lovely silver color. Undersides, by the way, just green, just normal green. If you see any weird bits and pieces, by the way, I promise you it is moss, 100%. These leaves are absolutely fine, but I can't see the odd grain of moss on there. So if you're seeing something, that's what you're seeing. Yeah, so roots, haven't checked them. Haven't checked them since it went in here. Yeah, I can't see roots coming out of the bottom, but if they're anything like the strawberry ice, it's not gonna be amazing. But I really like these. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. I don't have anywhere near enough of these. Um, let me know if you're interested in them because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Slot that back in there just because I don't want to have stuff all over my table. Even though I already do have a lot of stuff on my table. Right, let's pick the last Syngonium and then I'll show you the skin. Darb's arse. Please, I don't want any more accidents. Holes just make me nervous now. Oh, okay, so this has some roots and I've possibly dried them out. That's not good. Maybe you can see what that is. But the next plant, I've had this a while. Um, I had more of these and I think I sold one on my website. So you may have seen one up for sale. I basically kept the gnarly one and I sold the really nice one. So the next plant I have to show you, it's been with me a while and you can tell because that's the roots coming out of the bottom and that's been sat just growing into a tray. This plant here, again, it's... These are obviously propagations, so you've got this long one here and this long one here with like the mother leaves and then I'm growing little plants from them. If I turn it towards the camera and try and get the leaves in like that and then oh, let's bunch them like that. You can see what this plant is. So this plant here is known as Syngonium Panda and I'm going to be honest with this one, guys. I'm going to be honest. I don't fully get the hype. Now... I think, did I buy this in specially for somebody? I can't remember why I've got this actually, because it's not something I picked. It's all right. 
I don't really know what to say about it. It's all right. I like it. I can kind of see the fuss, but I can't totally see the fuss. Personally, for me, the Grey Ghost is 10 times nicer, but again, down to personal taste, right? So what you get, and I think this leaf is, it's, it's almost paid its dues, hasn't it, really? It's going to die. There you go. But what you get is essentially these lovely green leaves with chunks of silver so it's kind of to be honest it's kind of the reverse of the gray ghost only i really like the shape of the gray ghost i think the leaves look absolutely awesome these are very very typical syngonium arrow shaped kind of leaves and that's fine if you love that that's absolutely fine but that's kind of what they look like now they don't always just look like this though a lot of the time you do get them looking like what this does here if i just push some of these other leaves up to the screen does that work there you get smaller flecks i wouldn't say they were always like that i think that's just what it is obviously it varies and these plants if anything show you how much that can vary it's a really really weird variegation that but generally speaking, being that this is the newest leaf right here, that's kind of what happens with them. Sorry, it just it just likes my face. That's kind of what happens with them. I like it. Not shitting on the plant by any means. It's just, I just, honestly, let me grab this one again because you, you tell me what you prefer. I'd like to hear it. I like doing this on plant holes. I like to find out which one you guys like best. This here is Grey Ghost. This is Panda. Oh my gosh, honestly. <laughs> On camera, I actually think this one's coming off nicer, the panda. But personally, for me, the grey ghost just takes it. Again, I can't really show you it. The grey ghost isn't helping itself because it's grown a bit funky, whereas this one looks a bit more typical. Let me know which one you prefer. For me, it's the grey ghost, but I do see the hype on the panda. Hype, I hate using that word. It's a horrible word, isn't it? I see the fuss on the panda, but I just think it's not... It's probably not living up to all of its hype. I don't know. The one I sold was really nice. I'll try and find a picture of the one I sold, maybe, because it was quite sexy, that one. This one, admittedly, is not. So I guess I'm growing it and I'm propagating it for y'all, but I don't know what to think about it. It's cute, don't get me wrong, and it's very easy. By the fact that this is the roots on this versus the roots on the Grey Ghost tells you a lot. So if you want to pick one of them, but you want some that grows really quick... It's this one. I can tell you straight up, it's this one. It's not the other one. But I could kind of tell that anyway by the way it's growing. This is very much your more classic viney sort of syngonium. So if you're looking to buy it to sell on or to propagate or whatever you want to do with it, this this is probably your one. But personally, I don't think it looks as sexy. Like if you took these two pretty leaves out here and you just judged it on them, you know, nice look at the draw, isn't it? But yeah, let me know what you think. That's gone really, really bizarre. Can't even, there you go. Let's pause. No, no, it's just gonna, it's just gonna stay like that. Fuck it, it's just gonna stay like that. Let me pop this back, and then I'll show you my skin darp sauce. I've literally, guys, I've got them all in a big long red plant shop box. The last plant I have to share with you is a little bit dry, actually. I've just filmed a rare plant index for Skindapsis and I pulled it out and I didn't realize how dry it's gone. This needs sprayed like immediately after this video. But the next plant on my list is something that I wanted to kind of see for myself what it was like because I see pictures of it on the internet. Sorry, I'm just fluffing up my hair because it looks like shit. Um, I see pictures on the internet and I didn't know how realistic they were. And I just wanted to see. I, I, I like to experiment sometimes. So I bought this in. It's probably going to get cut into bits, but I don't want to cut it until I know that it's propable because I'll, I'll talk about it in a second, but it doesn't look very easy to propagate. Just going to just gonna call it, based on what I have here anyway. But you will like this. And I literally, I already know this comes off well on camera because I've just filmed a replant index with it. But are you ready for this? This is quite nice. This here is the Skindapsis Black Mamba. And that's what it looks like. Can you see how cool that is? Yes, this is cardboard, it's not actual board. But let me just show you up close. Hopefully, there we go. It's hard to like look round at my monitor and see where the plant is, but also focus on just the plant. Stop it. There we go. If I hold it up closer, can you see that? How nice is that? So it's not, I said this on my red plant index, it's not super black, but it's quite black, right? My top is black and it looks quite black, but of course it is green in reality. Now, I think what I also said was that the feeling of these is it's tougher than a Monstera Peru. If you can think of what a Monstera Peru feels like, if you felt one, you may not have, which is fine, but just know that they're very, very tough. They're tougher than a lot of Hoya. They're kind of on par with some Hoya, but they're definitely tougher than a lot of them. Really, really, really sturdy things. Now, the thing that concerns me, quite honestly, is the specimen I have here, the stem is very, very, very woody. I'll try and hold it up to the camera. 
here. Can you see how woody that looks? That kind of concerns me a little bit because I don't know how easy that's gonna root. I will say one thing, by the way, I'm getting moss all over me. I'm pretty sure that this is a shingler. It does kind of look like it wants to be, right? I've seen other pictures of this online and it shingles. It's just this one's being grown however it's been grown. So it's obviously the top of something, I don't know. So imagine this growing much closer together like a shingler, a little bit like a Monstera de Bayer or a, rapt uh, a Raptophora, a Raphidophora, Cryptantha, or something like that. Imagine it growing like that, that's more what it's gonna look like. Of course, if you don't grow it in good light, then it might look like this, which is still nice, don't get me wrong. Um, but that's kind of what it is, and I don't have anything to tell you on it, only this is as much as I ordered, and I've had it uh, at least two weeks. I would say I'm gonna start cutting it tomorrow um, and see how it props. Um, I've had it at least two weeks and nothing has happened. There is no root on the bottom of here, right? It's just been stuck in a water tray. Nothing has happened. That's even been partially submerged in water, that bottom leaf, and nothing has happened to that. So all in all, I would like to tell you they're quite tough, but I don't know how well they are to propagate because as I've mentioned, this is very woody. You're not gonna be able to see the top of that, are you? Maybe. Yeah, it's it's woody and I've got new growth there, which is awesome, cool. But I, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. So again, pinch of salt situation. Consult the comments, someone will own them. Someone will be able to tell you more than me. But I kinda like how it looks, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's not really disappointing in person. This is a plant where it looks the same in person as it does on photographs. Again, not quite as black. A lot of people will photograph this and make it look blacker using the usual lighting tricks but generally speaking I do think what you see is what you get I would argue um, again one more look because this is our last plant today but that is him right there that is Skindapsis black mamba it does have another name actually let me just see if I can get the other name because it might help if someone wants to find it because black mamba might be harder to find than the other word the other name for the plant if that makes sense so i've just got my red plant index up um bentol skindapsis bentol is the other name bentol by the way means bump in indonesian it's from indonesia so if you want to find it that's probably what you should look for you will see these a lot on facebook probably by the time this video finishes you'll see a few more but you should be able to get them i don't think they're the cheapest and from what i've seen they've been selling in like a one leafer so i guess uh good luck getting them i suppose this is all i have totally um, and as you can see, it's not even propagated yet, so I'm not just saying that they're everywhere or they're sought after to get your money or anything. I'm a long way off selling anything. Um, but from what I can see, it's all right, to be honest. Very, very tough. Possibly too tough. Bit concerned about rooting, but pretty nice, to be honest. I'm definitely taken with it, and I think you can agree from looking on camera that it's, it's pretty awesome. So from the bottom to the top, that's the bottom. And then all the way to the top. Very, very nice plant. It has, however, put moss all over my table, so I'm gonna clean that up now. Thank you very much for watching today's haul. I think next week you have a Skindapsis red plant index coming up. So if that's something that interests you and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you could subscribe. That way you won't miss it at all. That's gonna be awesome. You should have another red plant index after that one as well. You've got some nice stuff coming up. I'm also working on something kind of super secret, actually, and that should be up. Oh, hopefully after the next two rare plant indexes, hopefully if I can get it finished. I've been working on a video now for, oh my goodness, two months maybe, something like that, a long time. So I'm really excited to bring that to you and you will hear more in due course, but some good content coming. Please don't miss it. Please subscribe. Similarly, if you like this video, then please leave a like as a course. It lets me know that I'm making good content. And as for the rest of you, please leave any comments that you'd like to on any of these plants here. And I will see you next week for Rare Plant Index. Bye, guys.